Hey, what if you didn't give any homework the first week of school? I mean, no homework. What if you made it very clear in week one that your class is a community first in an English class or science class or history class or math class or whatever class second? What if instead of diving deep into content in the first week of school and learning subject matter, students dove deep into learning about each other? and you had them spend time helping design your classroom and arrange the seating and create artwork for the walls. And they could play two truths and a lie. And you could take them on a hike outside. But if you live in Michigan like I do, soak it up because moments where you can go outside with your class are very rare. And you could also have them write their life stories and share them if they want to. And you could tell them your life story. And what if you drew an animal on every kid's hand as they walked in the door? And when you say go, they have to make that animal sound and find the matching animals in the room and draw a giraffe on one kid's hand and watch him wander around the room aimlessly because nobody knows what sound a giraffe makes. And what if you had a talent show the first week of school? And what if you told kids on Tuesday to wear pajamas on Wednesday because tomorrow you're bringing in hot chocolate and popcorn and they can spend a huge chunk of class relaxing and reading whatever books they like. And you could have your students create a social contract together that they would live by the rest of the year in your classroom. And you could hang that contract up on the wall. And what if in the first week after you go over classroom procedures, you had students dramatize and act them out, showing the right and wrong way of doing things. And you could also just show a bunch of your favorite YouTube videos that have nothing to do with school, but are awesome. And you could have a contest to see who can find and show the best video from YouTube. But of course, you should preview those videos first to make sure that they don't play words like on the big screen during the first week of the year. What if you had a competition where kids worked in groups to build the strongest towers, but you don't let them talk during it and help them learn the importance of communication? What if your students created time capsules that won't get cracked open until the very last day of the school year? What if you read to your students out loud the book Where the Wild Things Are and you did the voices of the monsters in a really goofy voice? I'll eat you up, I love you so. What if you brought back show and tell? Yeah, you too, high school teachers. And you bring in something from your house that'll really like freak them out. Yeah, I caught this. What if you did a service project where your students form pen pals with elderly people in your community and in the first week they write their first letters and you could play Taylor Swift on blast every day that they walk in because everybody likes Taylor Swift. Cause baby, now we got bad oh, you know you do. What if you showed your students a picture of your family or your dog or you got kids writing already except not necessarily about academic stuff yet, instead writing that'll get them laughing and opening up. What if you spent the first week of this school year getting to know your students and helping them get to know you and each other so that the following week they'll feel safe and excited to learn English or science or history or math or whatever. And hey, if you like some of these ideas I just shared, I wrote them all out and I made it really easy for you to understand in a document I call the best first week of school ever. You can get that resource by clicking the link that is attached to this video. I think your students will love it.